Hi, welcome to Free, Free Academic English. I'm Geraldine and today I am very thankful. I want to show some gratitude. I want to thank each and every student I've had because their success is my success and seeing them shine makes me happy. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you, Cesar. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Betsy. Thank you, Ellen. Thank you, Jefferson. And thank you, Beatriz. I have some more students, but I really don't know about them. But I must thank them too. They made me part of their process and I'm thankful. I have this idea of featuring each of them in upcoming videos and like telling my side of the story, their story from my perspective, then them talking to them too, or featuring them, introducing them to you. But I'm gonna start just by thanking again. So with their permission, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about each of them. We're all Peruvian. <laughs> they all came to me to help them with the score they needed for applying to a university overseas. So they had to take TOEFL or IELTS. And the very first one was Sandra. I told you about her in a previous video. Long story short, she is on the final phase of uh, writing her thesis for Harvard Business School. Sandra is an economist. She's studying a master's degree in sustainability. She was first my friend and then my student. And I'm so proud of you. I know nothing about my second student and I taught it for just a very short time. So we're gonna leave it there. My next student is Cesar. He's just been granted a scholarship by the Obama Foundation, which is huge. So proud of you. Cesar is going to study at the University of Chicago about public policies. Beatrice was also my student for a short period of time. And thanks to Facebook, I know that she is now studying overseas. I think Korea? Congratulations, Beatrice. I wasn't part of that process as much as, uh, as the others. <laughs> I'm so proud of her. With my next student, I also spent very little time. But she's my friend too, so I have to say how proud I am of her. It's Chris. She is a veterinarian who wouldn't admire her. But she came to me when she was taking the IELTS for studying in London. So we studied together for a little bit and I hope I helped her. I hope I helped you. I'm happy I was part of that process with you too. She has already finished her master's there in London. She's already working in London. My next friend, well, student, well, she was also my friend. You see, most of my students are my friends. If they were my friends before I started teaching them, they came to me thanks to a friend of mine or thanks to a student of mine who eventually became my friend. <laughs> well, the next is Betsy. She's a teacher and a business manager. And she's right now in Australia, in Australia studying a master's degree also in public policies. I'm very happy for you, Betsy. I hope you're doing great. Right now, I'm teaching Ellen and Jefferson. They are two economists too. Yeah, I tend to teach lots of economists. I don't know why. <laughs> and they also want to study a master's degree. So we are preparing. I'm happy of being part of your process too. You'll carry a little piece of me. Or I carry a little piece of you. Well, either, I guess. And I'm gonna tell you what they all have in common. One, an objective. Two, perseverance. Three, help in English. And what is the help that I gave them? To let them know that they could do it. Because they can, they're great people. They are smart people, passionate people, amazing people. Thank you, I wanna thank them because I loved and still love teaching English to them. And they inspired me to make these videos. So they 
and anyone who's trying to improve their English, especially for TOEFL and IELTS, get what they need. What I've seen they need from my experience. Academic English. Extra help with your English. Continue learning while you're not in class. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel, share, and I hope to see you soon.